Well, happy Valentine's to you on this day. It is a special edition of your Campus Weather Service forecast. I'm your meteorologist, Travis Patterson. It's just me and you in this Weather World studio. And what a wild world of weather we've been seeing. Last evening, we saw snow totals, a hefty amount of three to four inches here in State College. Looking at a live view of the Arboretum, it definitely looks like a winter wonderland out there. We saw snowfall reach last evening of upwards of two to inches per hour two inches per hour here in central Pennsylvania, leaving us a nice coating of snow. Temperatures right now are about 37 degrees here in central Pennsylvania, so a mild day for us here in February. It feels like 30 with a southwest wind at about 10 miles per hour, but you can't knock this. It feels great for this time of year in February. For our temperatures across the central region, 39 for us here in Bullsburg, 33 up in Coffin, Coffin Rock, a little warmer as you head south and east, 42 for you in Raystown Lake. As we zoom out statewide, much of the same. We see temperatures around 30, 30 up to 30 degrees, and a little bit warmer as you head south and east, 44 for you in Harrisburg, 46 for you in Philadelphia. Now, as we look at the Doppler radar, we do see a system off to our north and west, and that's bringing some snow up to Bradford and Erie, and that'll be affecting us as we head later throughout this evening, bringing us a coating to an inch here in State College. Now, as we look at our eye on the future, this gives us an idea of the, where the precipitation will fall for the next 48 hours or so. We do have that low pressure system off to the north and west. It's a little moisture starved, so it doesn't have too much in the way of precipitation associated with it. Although, as it moves off to the north and east late this evening into early morning hours, we could be left with a coating to an inch of snow here in State College. Now, as far as your Friday evening is concerned, it looks clear. However, we do have another system off to our south, and that could bring us another round of snow showers Friday evening, continuing in through Saturday afternoon. So if you're heading out to Thon, so definitely bundle up because you could be dealing with a little bit of a snow mess as we head in through Saturday afternoon. That system will move off Saturday evening into Sunday, leaving us a little bit around of some lake effect snow showers, but they won't be too heavy as we head in through your Sunday. So what about the temperatures for your forecast? That's the main story. Our temperatures will be very cold as a cold Arctic blast out of Canada will knock our temperatures down, but that won't happen until Saturday. Friday, we'll see another mild day at 38 for you here in State College. 34 in Pittsburgh as we begin as we head further south and east. 46 for you in Harrisburg, a nice 53 degrees here in Philadelphia. But those temperatures will drop Friday night as that low pressure system moves off to the north and east, knocking us down to the lower 20s for much of the state Friday. And then as we head into Saturday, we'll struggle to reach out of the 20s here in most of Pennsylvania. 30 for us here in State College. Then our temperatures drop like a rock Saturday night bottoming out around 15 degrees for us here in central Pennsylvania. And then our temperatures won't budge too much as we head in through Sunday. So for the rest of your Valentine's Day, it will be pleasant. We'll see around 40 degrees, some sun and clouds, again, some snow showers moving in later this evening. So if you can, take advantage of it right now and go out, take the one that you hold dear to a hike on Mount Nittany. As far as tomorrow is concerned, we'll see much of the same. High of around 41 degrees with some leftover morning flurries for us here in central Pennsylvania. Now for your seven day forecast, We'll see for your Valentine's Day, high of around 40, dipping down to around 31 degrees. Again, we'll say warm Friday, but then that cold snap starts to come in later this weekend, keeping our temperatures in the 20 and our lows in the mid-teens. And for your President's Day, it looks to be mostly sunny with a high of around average at 38 degrees. Well, thanks for tuning in to your forecast. I'm your meteorologist, Travis Patterson. Have a great day.